Welcome back to Sip the Tether Films, aka The Crib, and I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today's subject matter is James Proche, one of my favorite receivers uh, on the Ravens, uh, uh, in my eyes, a truly underrated guy. But let's take a look at um, some of his usage from last season and kind of project onto him what would be a good season for him and what would what would he have to do to help this offense out. <laughs> Now, without you know his his stats for the last year, I'm gonna bring him up real quick. He had um, 16 catches, 20 targets, for 12.63 yards per catch. Total had 202 yards. So what I did was just say he, you know, with with the subtraction of Hollywood and, you know, I know other receivers are going to be in there. Bateman probably going to get a lot more catches. But let's just say he had three times that output. Let's just say he had 60 targets just for the lack of, you know, of saying. So he had 60 targets. That would put him right, at, right under 50 catches, right at 606 yards. If we can get 600 yards out of him, maybe another five or six from DuVernay, uh, 1,200 from... I ain't gonna even twelve hundred, a thousand from um, Bateman and another thousand from Andrews. That's three thousand some yards right there. And on top of whatever Duvernay can give us, whatever you know, any other sign guy or the backs out the backfield get, you are pushing thirty five hundred yards right there. So I think that's a good projection for him. As a fan, I would say that would be a goal for him. I know himself probably got higher goals than that, but I think this would be a great goal for Proche. But let's just look at. Let's take his two best games last year versus Denver and versus the Bengals, and let's just see what he brings to the offense. I use spot shadow right there, and this is versus the Bengals. Oh, look at that route. He can get open. He is our slot guy. I know everybody say Duvernay. This is what slot receivers do. They got that short area of quickness like that. Look what he did to the defender. Look what he did to 21. Uh. That's what slot receivers do. Ain't got another 8 to 10 yards after this. Slot receivers can, can work. They don't have to be blazers. They just work well in short areas, short spaces. Right here. Still work. All right. Blanket. Cover. Cover. Working with the receiver. Knowing he's going to hit, get hit, protects the ball, gets down, first down. Safety valve, working in the traditional slot again. Again, same guy. And this time, instead of beating him with his feet, he got tough with it. He tried to press him. No, nah, you ain't going to press me. I'm going to find a way to get over. Push you inside, work back out. Hands catch, get off the field. Hands catching up the field. This, this is our slot guy. Again, traditionally in the slot. Bad ball, all hand. Look at the body control. Body control, all hands. All hands. Taste the lick. Tough. Tough. It's, it's six of them there. Five of them there. Can't get them down. And this is versus the Broncos. The uh, the wherewithal to avoid because it's some kind of mesh. And yeah, the Broncos do the coverage. But not only did he help this guy out by kind of running at him, himself is wide open. He don't know what's behind him, so he don't know he's wide open. He just runs his route. Again. And this probably was his longest player of the year. Top right there now. He's an outside receiver now. We pretty much in a pro pro set. So you got a tight end here, fullback, X receiver here. He's the Y. I mean not the Y, the uh, Z. Excuse me. Ah, my bad. Let's get concept. Now, let's let's talk about what he's doing right here. He's really trying to set this pick for uh, 42 to get in the flats. That's really what he's trying to do. But now, 
he comes open. And this is what I love about the toughness. He ain't going down. Uh-uh, let me try to get these yards. I ain't catching this ball getting down. So that went from a, uh, let's see, where's the marker? I'm trying to find the marker. The marker is right there. It went from a four-yard catch to a five, six, seven, eight-yard game. Because he didn't catch the ball and go down. No shade, but he didn't catch the ball and go down. Pro Shade's right here. Number three guy. Again, working the, working the areas in the zone. Now, he's sitting right behind him, but he's going to work this area because this guy's in the throwing lane. Work himself wide open. And just by, the, just by slide shuffling to the open area, not only does he get the first down. Go, look at that. Ball's almost on the ground. Like I just talked about it in a video from yesterday with uh, Devon Williams catching the ball that low. Head down, eyes on the ball. You catch the ball with your eyes, your hands are just extension. And if he could have kept his feet footing, if he could have kept his footing, would have got more. Potentially, this dude probably the best hands on the team. Honestly. You know, probably the best hands on the team. Again, this scat route that I love, love, love. You know, just playing off 59. 59 went out on the, on the uh, flat route or, or the little out. Just sit right there. Now, this is what I this is what Proche brings to the slot area that we didn't have or that we wouldn't have had with Hollywood now. And again, no shade. This is a little three yard catch. Watch what he does right here. Mm. I ain't trying to dance. I ain't trying to fake you out. You finna get this work. Come get it. And not only like teammates love that. They love a guy that's gonna play hard like that. Catch the ball in the 30, and, you know, a lot of guys would just got down right there. Got a whole another seven yards just by putting his head down and going to get it. Toughness. Toughness in on the slot. So, with that being said, with that being said, there should be a – this is our slot receiver for the concern. If we, if we bring in another guy, uh, probably be an outside guy, there's no reason that he shouldn't start at the slot – and it's his job to lose because he has all the intangibles. He has that short area quickness, uh, hands, his toughness. And a lot of people may wonder, well, why not Duvernay? Duvernay is a lot faster than Prochet, no hands down about it. But he don't have that short area quickness and ability to run routes like Prochet. Now, again, I'm going to throw back to videos two years ago. I did college videos on Prochet, and I did college videos on Duvernay. A lot of Duvernay catches was bubbles, uh, screens, and, and deep balls. Prochet had the whole route tree. The whole route tree. So if you want to go back and check those out, please do so. They're in the draft vids from 2020, I think. Uh, go check them out. And um, But again, this is Prochet. This is my swan song to you. You should be our starting slot. Um, give that man a chance. Let him cook. Free Prochet. Free my guy. Free ones. I don't even know if he's still, if he's still number ones. Let me know. Uh, but again, this is my two cents on James Prochet. I think he's our, our best slot receiver. He has the hands, the short area quickness, the toughness, the route running to work in spaces, especially we're going to expand our, on our passing game. And um, I appreciate you guys for coming through. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Enjoy your Tuesday night. Peace. <laughs>